generally a company has gone through change. Turning distribution companies into professional software buyers. Well, joining us to speak about that today is Denis Russo, Director, Project Delivery at Technology Evaluation Centers. Denis, welcome. Thank you, Russell. Denis, I guess we uh, need a little explanation or definition at the very uh, beginning here. What exactly do you mean by a professional buyer? What is that? I'm sure most people have been able to buy stuff. They've, they needed something and they deal with a buyer within their company. And if that buyer actually knows his business, um, he can actually help you with the specifications, he can help you really detail exactly what you would be looking for. And then he'll turn around to the vendors and he'll be able to deal with the vendors professionally and get you exactly what you want. And generally, this is the type of thing that, the type of service that people really enjoy and really benefit from. So you're talking about a degree of expertise, of course, that someone, no matter how much they may be interested in a particular uh, project or, or solution or application or whatever, may not have. Exactly. What is the point when a, 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 a person or a team in an enterprise needs to turn to a consultant then when they're considering making uh, an investment uh, uh, in technology or some type of uh, solution or whatever? Well, generally a company has gone through a change, uh, either growth or competitive change in the market or something that makes them consider that their systems may not be up to par. You know, things are not going as well and a new system may be required or an upgrade to the new system. It's just a pain point. Mm -hmm. And at some point they just realize that maybe, maybe not, we don't have the capabilities or the competence to actually go through a process and pick exactly what we want. You know, a company, let's just say, is, uh, is considering uh, an implementation of this, that, or the other. Uh, someone in the company says, perhaps we need to bring on a consultant. And the question would then be, well, what really is the contribution of a consultant? If somebody put that question to you, what is the contribution a consultant can make? What would be your response? Well, again, on basically on the same theme of the professional buyer, we, uh, the consultant would want to turn somebody within the company or a group within the company into a professional buyer, somebody who actually knows what they want, can actually spec out what they want, and can actually face the vendors and tell them what they want, how they want it, what they're willing to pay, how they're willing to negotiate. Now the consultant can actually walk somebody through using their own competence and bring, it, bring that competence into the organization so that the organization can actually do the acquisition well and feel that they are getting what they need. You know, you, you've, uh, you've convinced me that this assessment and this uh, selection process is, can be quite complex, and so perhaps I need to have an expert then in this, in the, in this process. I'm curious, what are the, uh, what problems might he or she, this consultant, this expert, uh, uh, face at the onset of this acquisition uh, process? The main thing a consultant will face would be confusion. Okay, the, the non-professional buyer, finds himself in a position where to start. Where do I go to see the vendors first? Uh, where do I find the information? How do I go about it? And they really don't quite know exactly how to start. And that's usually the onset of the problem. Fortunately, the consultant finds that they get relief. As they go through the process, the people involved in the acquisition process just feel relieved having gone through uh, a methodology of some kind and have acquired the competence that they need in order to do it right. That's interesting. So the confusion you're talking about is not of the consultant on the consultant's part, but it's on the part of the, the enterprise that's looking to acquire, implement some, uh, some technology, some solution, whatever. So, but you know, but you, you, you mention the, the, uh, the process uh, that many, many uh, companies might think that what we need to do is simply line up a number of vendors in this particular 
particular area that we're looking to focus on and just interview them one right after the other. You're suggesting that is not necessarily the way that the consultant would have them go. Well, the consultant would start off by making sure that the people know what they want. Mm -hmm. The consultant would actually ask the organization to somehow define their needs, define the specifications of what they want, and how important some of the elements are before talking to the vendors so that they can establish a basis for comparing the different offerings from the vendors. And that would be the important element of feeling secure in your decision mm -hmm. that you've actually compared based on common criteria for all. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is what would the consultant would actually be able to bring the information, maybe the tools, and certainly the methodology and for uh, an acquisition of this competence, of this sense of uh, reassurance mm -hmm. that one can acquire exactly what they need. You know, clearly companies differ from each other. Needs will differ from company to company. And undoubtedly, of course, vendors and the solutions that uh, the products, whatever the services, whatever it is that they offer will, will vary. So it may be difficult to say that there is a typical uh, preparation, <clears throat> pardon me, a typical preparation process for a company that's looking to acquire or to invest in technology. But I just wonder, is there, any, is there an ex, uh, a period of, of preparation that uh, is, is generally what you are likely to encounter? How long does that preparation, training of staff, et cetera, last? Well, it depends, like you say. It, it really depends on the company, et cetera, and the scope of what they have to do. But the process itself is a decision-making process. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's um, quite common to everybody who's trying to acquire to go through a decision process, and the decision brings about this need for criteria, need for priorities for those criteria to establish a unique profile of their needs, of their requirements, so that they can actually face the vendor and say, how well can you meet my needs? How well do you support the different functionality that I need in order to do my business optimally or better or engage in new businesses or whatever the needs have been defined. What is the result ultimately that one is looking for here? Generally, we want the um, company to feel that they are a professional buyer, that they are facing vendors on a, an equal footing but also that they are taking responsibility for the implementation and have set up themselves for a successful implementation because eventually they have to go through the relatively difficult process of acquiring and then modifying the software, training the people, and just basically putting in this new, shall we say, um, nervous system within the organization. And in order to do that, they have to feel that they are responsible for the success of it. And this is what we're trying to get. It's interesting, uh, Denis. It seems to me that it's not just a matter of hiring a consultant and then letting them go and you uh, go and stand by and watch the process. But this seems to be a partnership that you are describing between the consultant and the enterprise. It has to be. The enterprise has to take responsibility but they will need some help in terms of certain competency, maybe some information, maybe some insight into what they need to do and how they need to go about it. Find the strengths and weaknesses, the ones they're willing to live with, the ones they cannot live without, and just actually acquire something that is the best fit for them and then implement it correctly, impl implicating all the people involved so that eventually they can use the system to the betterment of their organization. Great, great insight into that uh, partnership and into that process. Denis, I know that you're uh, busy, but uh, you took time to meet with us and to speak about this. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome, Russell. Well, that's Denis Russo, Technology Evaluation Centers, and speaking with us about turning distribution companies into professional software buyers. Thank you for watching.